all right guys all right all right all right welcome 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 guys i know you guys have been asking that oh that where are you where are you yeah uh, yeah i got a lot of messages from my on my instagram uh, yeah so a lot of guys were asking like oh where have you been man we 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 waiting for you yep guys i'm here i'm here i'm back here yep uh, we had some technical issues here on youtube but what about it is guys we're here we are here again and let's keep doing our thing let's keep doing our thing Yep, no time for uh, any waste of time. Let's do this, let's do this, guys. And uh, yep, I'm happy to be here again. I'm happy to meet you again. And uh, let's continue uh, from where we stop. And, and let's let's go higher, let's go higher. All right, guys. So, yep, yep, yep. So today, 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 transfer news, transfer news coming. Yep, interesting news, right? And uh, yep, there's a lot of football and there's a lot of uh, transfer talks rumors and gossips here and there whatever the case we have to pick the ones we are that are, that are quite interesting and we, we talk about it and so actually asana asana won the fa cup congratulations all the gunners yep shout out to all the gunners here guys congratulations to you guys congratulations to you guys so asana won the fa cup and then the, the like when when they were going to to the FA Cup finals, they were hoping like Obama Young was gonna stay in the club like, if, they, if they win the FA Cup. So apparently Obama Young wants uh, Champions League football, you know, he wants Champions League football and you see Asena is in the Europa League and then also like Asena doesn't look like they're gonna win the league in, in the next four years, you know. So yeah, being 31 years of age, Obama Young is looking for higher heights, he's looking for where he can compete at the highest level and prove his word. But whatever the case, guys, so Asana are trying to yep yeah, hold him to uh, they, they are doing their best in order to hold him and not to let him go. And Mikel Teta is, is trying to convince him and tell him like, oh, this in this club you can stay here and make it make be the be a legend, be a great a great icon in the, in the club, huh? Make a name for yourself, make it great, make it great. So yep. Yeah, so what do you think, guys? What do you think? Do you think Asana uh, Mumbai Mayang should uh, be staying at the Asana. Uh, meanwhile, he he's also has his own ambitions, like going to the to a Champions League, uh, to to play Champions League football, and uh, also to yep, like that. Because you know, like other clubs, like there are a lot of clubs that that, that want Obama Young right now. So if he if if he's available, you know, Barcelona is already there. Even uh, City will be there. Liverpool, Manchester United, whatever guys, what whichever club will want. Who obviously want Obama Young right now. So guys, so what do you think? What do you think? Should he be pursuing his dreams or he should listen to Mecca Atata and then uh, try to stay back at Arsena and try to make the club great? Meanwhile, guys, meanwhile, guys, so for after after the FA Cup win, after the FA Cup win, so I think there will be financial boost for Arsena, Arsena and so they will be able to pursue Thomas Party. Yes, guys, so Thomas Party, yeah, you know, there have been these rumors that as now don't have enough money to pay for the for the guy or well, Atletico Madrid is actually asking for some a huge sum of money and as now doesn't want to pay it probably they had tight budget but what whatever the case now that FA Cup is here guys now that FA Cup is here I'm hope we are hoping that uh, uh, the character will go straight away and and sign uh, uh, Thomas Party you know this guy this guy is great guys he he's not only a, a defensive uh, the player but he's, he's also like he, he he he's very good at going forward man he's good at linking the defense and the attack and this is what this is what uh, players like obama young and other guys in, in asana like i said at the rise they'll need they'll need you know and uh, he he'll, he'll be able to to break up plays defending plays and he'll be able to drive the ball and link up the attack perfectly so this is a perfect guys this is a perfect uh, perfect central defensive midfielder that uh, as an as an I should be getting, you know, as an I should, as an I should, I should go for him. Meanwhile, guys, we have Jaden Sancho, Jaden Sancho to Manchester United. It's almost close, guys. It's almost close. There's, there's this, that that fee, that fee has been set. Yep, guys. So let let's see what what was that fee again here. Uh, wow, guys, it's it's awesome. It's awesome, man. Uh, I, I think it's August 10. August 10. Borussia Dortmund are looking like to 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 finalize this deal because you know this deal is a uh, uh, the, Borussia Dortmund, they're actually going on the, uh, 
no, no pre-season draw before the German Bundesliga begins after the 10th of August and they are hoping that they are looking like the, the, the talks that they need to finalize this deal before then but yeah those are just talks guys but of, like Manchester United we, 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 we are known of like we are known for doing deals at the end towards the end guys you know, like so hopefully whatever the case guys whatever the case the 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 money has been set it's a it's a hundred and it's a hundred and five million guys a hundred and five million a hundred and five million dollars for Jaden Sancho <laughs> guys a hundred and five million dollars for, for Jaden Sancho do you think is Manchester United uh, you think that money he's worth that money Yep, guys. Of absolutely, absolutely, Jordan Sancho is worth every penny right now, as as the state as a, as it, it concerns Manchester United, because like, look, look, look at Mason Greenwood. He has been playing brilliantly, but after a couple of games, he wasn't uh, performing at his best. Probably, like if we use Mason Greenwood a lot, he's gonna burn out. So Jordan Sancho is absolutely needed. You know, Jordan Sancho is absolutely needed. And also Manchester United, that bench man, that bench is full of is full of crap on the bench man, like seriously, like seriously. So a move for Jadon Sancho, whatever money they want, let's pay. It. We're gonna pay. It. Um, like this D, this D is gonna be instrumental, guys, and that that is why I support the D. I didn't mean it was just like a one, like a huge sum of money to pay at once, man. It it, it wouldn't have make sense enough, you know. I'll, I'll, I would have preferred to get two other players and then just keep missing green on that position. But whatever the case, yep. So it's gonna be instrumental. Uh, I think Manchester United is gonna pay some. They're trying to pay 60, 61 million first at cash, and then after they will pay the remaining 44 million in the, in the course of the two years. In the course of two years, after two years, I think it's gonna be 20, 26.5 million in 2021, and then uh, the remaining 17.5 million in 2020. Yep, guys. Yep. So that's interesting. That's interesting. At least it, it's it, it's it's getting close. It's getting close. At least it's the fee, as you said, when a fee has been said like that, we know that yep, uh, the signing is getting closer, which is which is good. Which is good. Yeah, which is good. And then guys, so what do you think? What do you think about Jadon Sancho? Uh, 100, 105 million pounds, guys. Is it is it is is it worth it? Is it worth it to Manchester United go in for that deal, or they should just take that money and buy other, uh, uh, like buy uh, another player left back for the bookshop position, and then a central midfielder for in the match situation, like that in in, in the match uh, position like that, or they should just go in for Jadon Sancho and just pay in that money like that. But whatever the case, I'm giving my point of view about that, and let, let me let me know your points in the comments, guys. Drop your comments and let's let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Yep, guys, so that is it. That is it. Uh, Obama Young, Obama Young, uh, Arsenal looking to to, to hold him. Uh, Thomas Partey, hopefully Arsenal will be able to land uh, a deal with him after the winning the FA Cup. There's financial boost, and then Jadon Sancho to Manchester United is close. And then guys, another rumor here. They say uh, Schmeichel, Schmeichel, Leicester City goalkeeper. It's on uh, Manchester United are looking to 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 lure him in uh, in place of David De Gea. What what do you think about that, guys? You know David De Gea has been suffering recently uh, uh, with all this backlash and all the guys calling him names on social media because he he let in goals and he has been very very uh, like like kind of like he, his mind is no more there when he's He's playing for Manchester United, but we cannot say that. We cannot say that his mind is no more there. But he has make he has making a lot of silly errors recently, and that uh, in fact costly errors that have cost Manchester United a lot of points. And so, whatever the case, guys, let, let me know. Let me know your let me know your uh, your your thoughts about David De Gea and uh, uh, the pos the possibility that Schmeichel is going to re replace him. That's another that's a, that's a rumor there. And let me know. Let me let let yeah. Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it and see what's gonna happen. But hopefully, guys. Hopefully, 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 Jaden Sancho do uh goes through, and we will be able to have Jaden Sancho in Manchester United very soon. August 10, guys. I think uh is the deadline that has been set. 
uh, for this day to happen by the by the German club because very soon you know in Germany they'll they'll be they'll be having their their, their preseason tour very soon and German German football league is gonna start pretty soon guys. So we are hoping that this day happens for the ten. If not, then probably Manchester United the way they're always dragging things will probably be in September or something like that. But whatever the case, guys. So what do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think about Obama Young? If if he should he should stay in in Arsenal and make a name for himself there and be the club greatest, or he should just go and pursue his, his dream and play Champions League football, uh, or, or yeah, pursue his career like in the in the in the in the, in the greater stage, you no, know? win leagues with other teams like Barcelona and other bigger teams. What 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 do you think? What do you think about that? And what do you think about Thomas Party? Will he be a good fit for Arsenal? And uh, what do you think about Jadon Sancho? And the deal? is the money right for him? And how how will he improve Manchester United, the current Manchester United, based on the the fact that Mr. Greenwood is there too, or the other players? So let me know. Let me know your let me know your your your, your feelings. Drop your comments. And yep, let's do this, guys. It's your boy Derek. It's your boy Derek. So yep. I brought I brought to you transfer news for today and I, I've been off for a while, but whatever the case, guys, we are back live. We are back live here, and uh, thanks for everyone who who checked on me. And we're hoping that I'm I'm doing okay. I didn't come for the live streams, but guys, Champions League football is coming live. Watch along, we'll be back. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. It's your boy Derek. So drop your comments, guys. Drop your comments and let's do this. Thanks for watching. And smash the like button, subscribe, it's your boy Derek.